All right, good everyone. So once again, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Kasiligan Vlogs. So today, we'll be talking about probability of complement of an event. So complement of an event. Probability of the complement of an event if E is an event and E complement is the complement of the event, then P E complement is equal to 1 minus the P of an event. Okay, that's it. So how to find this one? So that is P E complement is equal to 1 minus P complement. So for example, this one when a coin's toes getting head and getting tail are complementary event of each other. So when coins are toes getting at least one head, getting no head are complementary event of each other. So we to say P, uh, P of an event complement event is equal to 1 minus P or P of an event uh, a no head or no P of no event is 1 minus the event. So when a die is thrown, getting an even phase and odd phase are complementary event of each other. Of course, getting multiple of two and getting not multiple of two are complement event of the latter event. And getting divisible by 3 and getting not divisible by 3 are complement event of the latter event. So take note, uh, these are complement event. So we have here example. A spinner has four equal sectors, colored yellow, blue, green, and red. What is the probability of landing on a sector that is not red after spinning uh, this spinner? So take note of this one. So we have here four equal sectors. We have here yellow, blue, green, and red. So therefore, what is the probability of landing on a sector that is not red? So since that is equal in part, so the probability of each event, uh, probability of red is equal to 1 over 4. That is a probability event. So since the probability of complementary event is P, uh, this, that is not red, so not red, is equal to 1 minus the red. So what is the probability of red? So what is the probability of red? We have 1 minus 1 fourth. So therefore, the probability of not red is equal to 3 fourth. Okay, that's it for example number one. So next example, a gumball machine contains gumballs of five different colors, 36 red, 44 white, 15 blue, 20 green, and 5 orange. So let us take down here, 36 red, okay, 44 white, 15 blue, 20 green, and five orange. The machine dispenser randomly selects one gum ball. What is the probability that the gum ball selected is green? So green, so therefore probability of an event, which is probability of green is equal to what is green? 20 over and the sum of this one is 36, 44. 15 and 5 is equal to um, 120. So we have here 36 plus 44 plus 15 plus 5. Okay. okay. Uh, Come again. 36 plus 44 plus 15. Uh, we have here plus 20 plus 5. Plus 20. So the total is 120. So 120. So 120. That is equal to 1 over 6. So what is the. Uh, we have here. What is the probability that is not green. So probability of. Not. Green. Is equal to 1 minus the probability of. Green. So what is the probability of green, which is 1, 6? So 1 minus 1, 6. So 1 minus 1, 6 is equal to 5 over 6. Next, we have here the probability of not orange. 
So not all range, range, that is, what is the probability? First, we need to get the probability of all range. The probability of our range is equal to 5 over 120. So, what is the probability of not all range? So, therefore, probability of not all range is equal to 1 minus 5 over 120, which is the probability of all range. So, the answer is 1 is 23 over 24. All right, so this is example number two. Let's sit with example number three. A pair of dice are rolled. What is the probability of not rolling doubles? Okay, so we have here the probability is 1-1. One, one. Uh, doubles, yeah, not rolling doubles. So 2-2 two, two and 3-3. Three, three. Next, we have 4-4. Four, four. And five five and six six. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. So what is the probability of not rolling doubles? So the probability of not rolling doubles. So since one, two, three, four, five, six, six times six is six times six equal thirty six. And the probability of doubles is, uh, we have here the probability of doubles is equal to 6 over 36 because the probability of doubles over the total sum of space, uh, 6, 2 dice, we have here 36. So we have here 1 over 16. So this is the answer for this one, for the probability of doubles. Since the question is, what is the probability of not rolling double? So, probability of not double is equal to 1 minus the probability of double. So, the answer is 5 over 6. So, that's it for problem number 2. Let's just, uh, 3. Let's proceed with number 4. In a cricket tournament, Casaligan hits 8 times 6 out of 32 balls. So take note, 8 over 32 balls. Hit. Calculate the probability that it would not hit 6. So by the use of this one, this is the probability of hitting 6 uh, times of 6 out of 32 balls. So 8 times 6. 8 times, we, we get 6 out of the 2 balls. So therefore, 8 over 32, that is equal to 1 fourth. So since the question is the probability that would not hit 6, so therefore probability of not 6 is equal to 1 minus 1 fourth is equal to 3 fourth. Okay, that's for problem number 4. Let's proceed with problem number five. In a laptop shop, there are 16 defective laptops out of 200 laptops. If one laptop is taken out at random from this population shop, what is the probability that it is a non-defective laptop? Okay. So the first thing to do is 16 out of defective laptop. If Okay, in the laptop shop, there are 16 defective laptops out of 200. So, this, this is 16 over 200 laptops. If one laptop is taken at random from this laptop shop, what is the probability that it's non-defective laptop? So, this one is defective. So, therefore, probability of defective first is equal to 16 over 200. That is equal to 0.08. Since the question is not the probability of not defective, so why not defective is equal to 1 minus 16 over 200. Or 0 0.8, so that is 1 minus 0 0.08 is equal to 0 0.92. So this is the answer for number 5. 
Okay, so everyone, so we have here tried this at home in a shooting game. The probability that Kim, Ken, and Carla can hit the target is one-third, one-fourth, and one-sixth respectively. What is the probability that the target will be hit if they all shoot at it once? And the new Neckwear Association of America reported that 3% of the ties sold in the United States are both ties. If four customers who purchase a tie are random se selected, find the probability that at least one purchase are both tie. A coin is five those five times, find the probability of getting at least one tail. So thank you everyone for watching this Casaligan Relax. I hope you, everyone, you get the point out of this uh, complimentary event. Thank you and God bless everyone.